Hello everyone, we are Meraki team and we're going to present the following particle. It is estimated that GDM affects around 7 to 10 percent of all pregnancies worldwide. More or less with a hazard ratio, but it was not clear that your main analysis was a Cox regression instead of the log brain test. Um, also, if you're doing stratification, that's the, the, those variables that are used in the stratification, they have to be included as an adjustment. Okay, so you don't necessarily need to, to adjust. My name is Wallison and we are from group two. Hello, my name is Rebecca. My name is Rinaldi. I am Carolina. I am Ayara. My name is not Nayel. And I am Hassan. And we all represent the Think Tank team. Our project is called Electroacupuncture After Laparoscopic Colon Cancer Resection. Okay, so this is actually something that we will discuss tomorrow, but we can start discussing it today. Um, there, there, you know, you have the open label, single blinded, double blinded studies. Hi, PPCR 2020. We are Team 3, the randomizers. And today, we will present our group project. Does these pictures look familiar? Yeah. Okay, so let's just, because they're all about the same, right? So let's yeah. just look at like the first one. So out of 2000 something patients, right? Like nobody basically had zero. Yeah. Um, a good number had one, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Two, a lot. Control group no exercise. All the uh, antidepressants. I understand, but yes. how, yeah. how did I, I start taking it? Yeah, I got your question. Yes, that was a very Okay, so think about one. this. That that will be uh, so think about it. Okay. Uh, yeah. So um um there was one more. Okay, so um, at the very beginning, my question would have been um, with regards to um, you very nicely introduce um, the aspect of that this is a study in randomized clinical trial evaluating the filter performance of the LEAF and N95 face mask respirators against the SARS CoV 2 in ICU nurses. This is a project from Group 5 for the PPCR course. Research question is What is the difference of the viral load of SARS CoV 2 between the outer and inner surface comparing the leaf mask with the N95 FFR worn by ICU nurses treating patients that are positive for SARS CoV 2 during a period of four weeks? During the entire year, and for sure, uh, we have reached a, a consensus, but it was not easy. <laughs> But regarding the pain relief BS score, actually, you're right. It's interesting. We're looking for a difference in BS score. If you say to me, okay, uh, my pain's five, my pain's, you mark uh, 30 millimeters, and the other guy marks um, 50 millimeters, okay, except. <laughs> Welcome everybody to our weekly clinical research news report. Today we have a really special guest. Yeah, that would enhance your generalizability, but the majority are female. Do you expect like a dramatic... One thing I was thinking when I saw this is you could, um, if you want to include males to increase generalizability, then you could use gender as a blocking factor if you expect the vast majority of people who are randomized to be female. Um, Welcome to the PPCR Talk Show. I'm your host, Frida Walters. Did you know that autism spectrum disorders, commonly known as AS by age, uh, the other thing is like do what Arthur says, like dichotomize it, safe improvement versus no improvement. And you know, that will make things easier because then you don't have, you can adjust for age, but you don't have to stratify. The title of our trial is Ketogenic Diet for Symptomatic Improvement of Moderate to Severe Major Depressive Disorder, a randomized controlled phase 2 multicenter trial. Hi, I'm Emma. Uh, yeah, I'm uh, here. <laughs> okay, so I will have to stop recording and let you go. It 
Hi everyone, we're Group 9, the Statistically Significance, and we welcome you to the HypeFest trial. Primary hypertension is the most prevalent chronic disease in the world, and it plays a major impact on public health. Despite the abundance of treatment for high blood pressure, half of the patients are unable to reach their treatment targets. Improper diet is one of the risk factors for hypertension, so lifestyle modification... So, um, who wants to describe to me your randomization strategy in your project? Yes, good morning, Dr. Tariq. I will present the randomization and we will discuss the discussion. Good morning, Salma. Go ahead. Yes, I will share my screen. Sure. Okay, uh, anyone can see? Yes, we can see. Hello, my name is Juliana Tepedino and here we are with PPCR Journal Breaking News. Group 10, the Knowledge Builders, developed a fantastic new protocol for prevention of delirium in surgical patients that could impact public health. I just say, what is your main analysis? You basically say, we're going to use uh, the test for continuous variables and tissue impact tests for uh, categorical Just to have an idea and then start with the brief introduction or yeah. then we go or or we start straight uh, Alma is here we can ask Alma <laughs> <laughs> we are the PPCR 2020 team 12 the masterminds today we present our proposal titled Efficacy of fecal microbiota transplants in early stage amyotrophic lateral sclerosis, a phase two randomized clinical trial. Apply for your group as well. But let me run here. Uh, let me then share here my, the two things I selected. And all right, your challenging question. I hopefully, the, I hopefully that opens. Okay, at least on the part, Zoom helped. Uh, so let's start with group number. Well, and group number 12, and again, I'll ask, I have Julia and Marcelo ready to interact with us. We are the Loop 13, and we will briefly summarize our journey about our group project. Our challenge was develop a non-pharmacological treatment for food allergy. So after some research, we have decided that our question is, does the administration of Lactobacillus ruminans DG improve allergic reactions in children with EGE mediated cow milk allergy compared to placebo after 15 months? Um, <laughs> we can maybe not write safety there because it's a study to evaluate efficacy and safety and we are not going to evaluate safety, we are going to just monitor and we can maybe include a section further uh, just to say safety monitoring and just say, just say, uh, state very briefly that we will monitor uh, the occurrence of adverse events and that's it. Hi PPCR, we're group 14, the Stoics of Sages, and this is our group project. <laughs> It has resulted in more than 35 million cases and 1 million deaths worldwide. The main cause of mortality, ART. The patient used flex covariates to determine the blocks. Well, we're not doing that, right? No, we're not doing oh, okay. that. Yes, we're not doing that. Just to be in, on the same page. <laughs> So don't, yeah. okay, <laughs> just relax. Yes, okay. So the healthcare workers um, can get depression after a long, long time working with COVID-19 patients. So we want to help them with everything we can. So our, our thinking was that uh, if we use like Wii Sports as uh, exercise, because they don't have time to exercise, if they can do 